I'm now going to look at the toolbar icons along the top of the MIDI editor which deal with note input and manipulation. Left clicking selects the tool. You can also switch between these tools by pressing keys 1 through 9. These keys correspond with the editing tools 1 to 9 from left to right. Combi tool selection mode is the default mouse tool. Use this for selecting, moving and resizing notes. Using the shift modifier temporarily switches to draw pencil mode. When draw pencil mode is active you can left click to insert a single MIDI note at the pencil position. The velocity of the inserted note is currently set to 100. This can be changed by typing in a new value into the velocity text box or by clicking and dragging. If, for example, I change the value to 80, all subsequent inserted notes will have a velocity value of 80. The velocity level of the currently selected note will also be shown in this box. This info bar will also display event type, channel number, note pitch, velocity and position and length values. Left click and drag to insert a longer note. The length and position of these notes will depend on the grid quantize setting and the length quantize setting. Releasing the shift modifier reverts back to combi tool selection mode. You can then select and move notes. Plus you can adjust the length. Right clicking will switch to the eraser tool so you can delete notes. Left clicking on the second toolbar icon switches to Combi Tool Draw Pencil Mode. This is the dedicated pencil tool for inserting notes. Left click to insert a note based on the active quantize grid setting. Left click and drag to draw in a longer note. Resize the note by dragging the left or right edges. Use the ALT modifier to disable snapping. Use the ALT modifier to insert a note based on the pencil position. This modifier overrides the quantize grid setting. Right clicking will switch to the eraser tool, allowing you to quickly delete unwanted notes. Combi tool drum pencil mode is intended for drawing in a sequence of notes of the same length. This mode is especially useful when programming, for example, a repetitive bass sequence or when programming drums. The length of these notes will be determined by the grid quantize and the note length settings. For example, if I set the grid quantize value to 16 and the note length to 132nd, inserted notes will snap to the 116th grid value and they will be 132nd in length. Left click and drag to the right to insert the required quantity of notes. Hold down the H modifier to restrict vertical movement when inserting notes in this way. Dragging back to the left will remove the notes, providing you have not released your mouse button. Double clicking on a piano key selects all notes of that key. Again, right clicking brings up the eraser tool. Use the shift modifier to temporarily switch to normal draw pencil mode. Combi tool pattern pencil mode is intended for drawing in a previously saved pattern or chord. Enter a series of notes. I'm drawing in a straight chord first. Make sure you have the notes selected. Then go to the menu item, edit, create pattern from selection or press the hotkey CTRL plus P. The pattern is now stored. Then switch to Combi Tool Pattern Pencil Mode. Now when you left click, the Save Pattern or Chord will be inserted in the piano roll. Be aware that the position of the mouse tool will define where the lowest note of the pattern will be inserted. Left clicking and dragging to the right will duplicate this pattern continuously. 
Left clicking and dragging to the left will delete the pattern providing you've not let go of the mouse button. In this second example I'm creating a more varied pattern. Something more syncopated. Now I'm storing the pattern like before. And again I'm switching to pattern pencil mode. In this example, where the notes start at different time positions, you will need to click and drag to the right to enter the full pattern. As I drag the pencil, you can see the notes for the pattern appearing. Use the H modifier to constrain the pattern vertically. Again, dragging to the left will remove the notes, providing you don't release the mouse. Although pattern pencil mode is a useful feature, it's only possible to save one pattern at a time. To the right of pattern pencil mode is the velocity tool. If I place my mouse over one of the notes, you will see a double headed arrow with the name Velo. You can use this tool directly on the MIDI notes by left clicking and dragging up or down. The velocity level of notes is signified by the density of colour. The higher the density, the higher the velocity. Dragging down will lower the velocity and dragging up will increase the velocity. In this example I have a synth pattern using varying velocities. These levels are also reflected by the vertical bars in the velocity controller editor at the bottom. If I select all of the notes, I can adjust the velocity of all of them and they will retain their relative value. When the higher velocity notes have reached 127, the lower velocity notes will continue to increase until they have reached the same level. Dragging downwards will restore the relative velocity settings. But if I let go of the mouse when all notes have reached 127, the relative values will be lost although you can always press CTRL plus Z to return to the previous setting. If you want to adjust all selected notes to match the velocity level of a particular note, do the following. Hold down the shift modifier and grab the note that you want all values to match. All notes will then jump to match that value as soon as you make the slightest adjustment. Likewise, if I grab a lower velocity note while holding down shift, all selected notes will jump to that value. An alternative way to display velocity is to turn on velocity visualization. Click on the small button named VEL. Turning on velocity visualization means that velocity is now represented based on the height of the note. This mode reflects the view of the velocity controller editor. The higher the note, the higher the velocity. Notice also that in this mode the mouse pointer turns to a crosshair. This lets you shape the velocity of several notes in one movement. If you're in velocity tool mode you can use the shift modifier to switch to temporary pencil mode. Insert the notes and then use the velocity tool to adjust if necessary. Remember that the velocity value of the inserted note will be based on the velocity info box. Type in a value or click and drag to adjust. The next note you insert will be based on this value. As usual, right clicking brings up the eraser tool. Place the mouse cursor over the note you want to erase and right click. Or you can right click and swipe a series of notes in order to erase them. To the right of the velocity tool is a dedicated eraser tool. Position the eraser over a note and left click to erase. If multiple notes are selected, left clicking on one note will erase all selected notes. You can also drag the eraser over multiple unselected notes in order to erase them. You can also use the shift modifier to activate temporary pencil mode. To the right of the eraser tool is the magnifier tool. Make a selection by left clicking and dragging. The selected area will then zoom horizontally. Right clicking will restore the previous zoom level. If you left click and select an area while holding down the shift modifier, 
This will zoom in on the vertical and horizontal axis. To restore the previous zoom level, right click while holding down the shift modifier. You can also simply left click to zoom in and right click to zoom out. But in this case the zooming will centre on the position of the play cursor. This therefore doesn't rely on where you position the magnifying glass. If you want to glue two MIDI notes together, do the following. Select the glue tool. Place the mouse cursor over the left note and left click. The note to the immediate right will then be glued, resulting in one long note. It's only possible to glue two notes together at a time. Glue note mode also lets you insert notes. Hold down the shift modifier and left click to add a new note. Right clicking switches to the eraser tool. To the right of the glue note tool is the split note tool. This can be used to split a single note based on the grid quantize setting. The grid quantize is currently set to 1 8th. So left clicking anywhere near a grid line will split the note. As with all combi tools, shift left clicking switches to temporary pencil mode, while right clicking temporarily switches to the eraser tool. The last tool is the mute tool, which can be used to mute single or multiple notes. This tool can also be called up using the hotkey M. Place the mouse cursor over a note and it changes to an X. Left click to mute. The muted note will now have a white cross through it. To mute multiple notes, select the desired note and click on one of the notes to mute all selected notes. Clicking again will unmute the note or notes. Once again, shift left clicking enables temporary pencil mode and right clicking, yes, you guessed it, brings up the eraser. Incidentally, there is also a hotkey for muting notes which doesn't use the mute tool. For example, I'm using combi tool selection mode. Lasso selects some notes and then press the key combination Control plus M. All selected notes will be muted. Pressing Control plus M again will unmute the notes. You can also access this command from the MIDI functions menu.